<clears throat> Hi, okay. Hello. Weird. So, this week, we're going to talk about mouth stuff. Is that weird? It's probably weird. The good news is, I get to edit the crap out of this, because this is all I'm doing this week. Bad news is, this is all I'm doing this week. So, we're going to talk about getting braces, about having your wisdom teeth taken out and, and having just other like weird cuts in your mouth or cold sores or mouth ulcers or canker sores, all that crap that we deal with all the time and nobody else cares about, or maybe they care about it, but it's a minor inconvenience where for people like me, it's the end of the world for just a short while. This week, uh, starting about 10 days ago, I got two canker sores. One of them is still here with us today. Uh, I call him Jerry now because he's such a such a good companion. And I had a couple performances I had to do, so I suffered through, and that's kind of all you can do. Luckily, this week I didn't have much playing to do. Not so luckily, they got worse, and so I couldn't do a video this week. But we can talk about all sorts of stuff. You've got um, braces, which the biggest issue is the pressure of the mouthpiece on your lips, or really the braces themselves, and it actually kind of cuts into your lip. That's not really fun. The second one is wisdom teeth, and the biggest issue there is the air pressure in your mouth. And then the third one is like this, cuts in your mouth and stuff like that. And that, the biggest issue, is the vibration in your mouth. So these very specific things, and it, sometimes these are combined, and it's even worse. So starting with braces, that is something that is much more long-term, as I'm sure you know, and you kind of have to figure out how to work with it. What you can do is take it as an opportunity to relearn the horn. Now, I have never had braces. I'm sure it's really, really discouraging at first, but the fact of the matter is most people get braces when they're uh, younger and they're still learning the horn, and it's a really good time to learn how to play the horn without pressure. I read a bunch about it just today because I was doing this video, and... Basically, they're saying, learn how to play the horn without pressure. Like I said, braces, the biggest issue is that pressure with the braces on your lips. So, do some exercises to learn how to play without pressure. I still have these cuts in my mouth, but just watch. It's a little painful, but you're going to want to play with no pressure whatsoever at first and learn how to make a sound with that. So... <laughs> so that's zero pressure. It's literally resting on my lips. There's no pressure. So that's a good way. And I think the only way to play with a good tone with braces, it's still not going to be fun. It's still not going to be easy, but you'll be practicing these good techniques for when you get the braces off. Now understand getting the braces off isn't just the fix. You kind of have to relearn it again when you get them off. So it's really not fun and it's really stinky, but good luck with that. I don't know. I chose, my teeth are not perfectly straight, but I chose not to get braces because I didn't want to go through it. Now, if you have the choice, there's Invisalign, I think they're called. There's also braces that go on the back of your teeth, and both of them, I'm told, are a very good option for brass players. So if you have the choice and the money to do that, that is really probably a good option if your kid is serious with uh, trumpets specifically. The higher brass is a bit more of an issue than the lower brass. Trombone is still not so much fun to play with braces. They definitely have a wax that goes over the braces. I've heard that is kind of helpful, but also a pain in the butt. So definitely experiment with all that stuff. Find something that works, but you can get around it by relearning how to play the instrument without pressure, and it's actually really helpful for after. So that, I think, is the most productive way to use your time when you have braces. So in order to play in the upper register, you really do have to do it in a different way because you can't add pressure to move up the harmonics. You have to do it with your air, you have to do it with your embouchure itself. So let's see if I can get, I don't know, just an octave going. So what you really want to do is support from down below your diaphragm, just really, really support and have a lot of air pressure and 
a firm embouchure. All of that is gonna allow you to play a decent range on your instrument. Again, trombone, never had braces but good luck. Next is what affects people usually my age, maybe a little younger. Wisdom teeth. This one is more of a timing issue. Sometimes it's only a couple weeks. Usually if the teeth have pretty much come in, they can just pull them. It's not too much recovery. If they haven't come in at all yet and they have to, you know, dig them out, that is an issue and your cheeks puff up, all this stuff. And again, this one is a big problem with the air pressure inside your mouth. It's less of a problem with the vibration. You really don't wanna screw that up within the first couple weeks after the surgery. Now this is another time where I went to the dentist and he said, your teeth are coming in, there's enough space because you have a giant, giant mouth, but something might go wrong and we'll have to pull them. We could pull them now or we can wait and see. And I said, wait and see because I don't wanna take those few weeks off. Now. Obviously, with braces, it's a much longer term thing. With pulling your teeth, you, you also have a lot more of a choice when it happens. So if you're going to school and you don't want to take that time off, you can probably wait until winter break or summer break and have them pulled then, and it wouldn't be that much of an issue. You'd have to take a few weeks off when you're on vacation or whatever. For me, I think I can get through with them all, and that would be awesome. Not everybody has the choice because sometimes the teeth come in at weird angles. Some people don't have a giant mouth like I do. So either way, let's say you have to get your wisdom teeth pulled and it for some reason is an emergency and you have to do it soon. You really, really shouldn't be playing in the first week or so, probably more. Everything says if it hurts, really stop. You can get something called dry socket. It's way more painful than actually having your wisdom teeth out in the first place. So you wanna just avoid that altogether. If in a few days you feel like you can play, I mean, maybe do it, I would wait longer if it were me. Now this one is is not as much of a big deal because sure you'll have to take off a couple weeks and it'll take you a little while to get back to where you were, but in general you're not changing anything with how you were playing before or after. And finally, the reason I'm talking at all this week, having different cuts in your mouth or mouth ulcers, canker sores, whatever it may be. This one is a problem with the vibration of your lips or the pressure, depending on where the cuts are. I went out to the store after a full week of not being able to play because of this huge one in my bottom lip, and I got canker cover, and this is basically a patch for the area. Unfortunately, mine is literally on my lip. If it's somewhere deeper in your mouth, this seems like it'll cover it just fine, and it kind of creates a clear seal over it after like an hour of wearing it. During that hour, it's really uncomfortable and weird. It's like having a, a watch battery sized pill on, on the place where it has been hurting and it hurts way more, but just for an hour and then it, it seems to dissolve, especially if it's in your mouth. I had it on my lip and I'll show a picture. Basically, <laughs> this is what I looked like. I was very sexy. Uh, all yesterday. It didn't dissolve because it was on the outside of my lip. So canker covers are cool. If it's inside your mouth, what you really need to do is switch toothpaste to something without sodium lauryl sulfate. This one, Sensodyne, the mint flavor, does not have it. It's the stuff that makes it foam up in your mouth, and obviously that's what you expect from toothpaste, so they all put it in, but it can aggravate it. Also, just chew very carefully. I've been eating a bunch of kale, and one time it just went straight into where it was and probably extended how long it will heal for a couple days. So be careful when you chew. I've also heard yogurt has the probiotic stuff that will really help it heal, and just as a good rule of thumb, keep your mouth clean. Use mouthwash or whatever it is, and you will prevent these kind of things from happening. So that is that, braces, pain in the butt. If you're a parent, make sure you talk to your kid about it, see how serious they are with their instrument. If they're really serious, maybe talk about getting some of the back ones, some Invisalign, or just getting them through with some private lessons with a teacher who really knows how to handle it. Also, when they get the braces off, you really want them working with a private teacher to help them keep these good habits going as they're kind of relearning the horn again. For wisdom teeth, don't play. If it hurts at all, don't play. It's really not worth it. And for canker sores and stuff, try these home remedies, get different toothpaste without the sodium lauryl sulfate, and eat lots of yogurt, and don't bite your lip. Whatever you, just don't, 
bite your lip. Be careful. Don't bite your lip. I bit my lip so many times. Don't bite your lip. Now, if you've gone through any or all of these things, please leave a comment below with your experiences and different things that you found helpful for you. And if you're going through this stuff now, check the comments and hopefully there'll be some helpful information there from those people. So thank you for doing that. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll be back next week with more music. Just a little side note, the composition competition is ending Wednesday, this year at least. I don't know when you're watching this video, but I do a composition competition every year. And these submissions will be due at the end of this month, September 2015. So make sure you get those in before Wednesday night. And I'll see you guys next week, where hopefully I'll actually be playing this bad boy. Now, last week it looked blue. I promise you it's purple. Can you tell? It really, it really does look kind of blue on this camera. We'll have to figure that out. Anyway, Purple Haze, Hendrix. So come back for that. Check out last week when I did September, Earth, Wind, and Fire. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, hopefully this is helpful. I'll see you guys next week. So it's not perfect, obviously. I'm going to sneeze now. <laughs> so I'm going to sneeze again. Uh. Mm. Okay. So it's not perfect uh, as far as doing it without pressure. I can't. I can't do this. Ugh.